is a pretty lake, right? Nothing special. But what if I was to tell you it holds 10,000 years of evidence that all point to us entering an entirely new geological epoch? <laughs> now that I have your attention, I'm gonna look up what a geological epoch means. And I'm gonna talk with someone who can tell me where I am. Hassan, first off, tell me where I am and why this place is so significant. Well, you're at the Crawford Lake Conservation Area, and behind us is Crawford Lake, which is a very rare, unique uh, Meramictic Lake. Time out. Meramictic. The lake was formed 10,000 years ago. Okay. As the glacier retreated, you know, the lake was left behind. What makes it really rare and unique is the shape of the lake. So okay. the easiest way to describe it is it's shaped like a cone, like an ice cream cone. Oh yeah, okay. It's very deep compared to the surface area that it has, just like a cone is. And so it has two unique layers of water. The top layer of water behaves like uh, water in any other lake where, you know, it mixes with, with the air currents with, and, and oxygenation goes through the different layers. The bottom layer is dark, uh -huh. uh, nothing lives there, and it does not mix with the top layer. And so what that does is as things fall into the lake, yeah. all sorts of particles over 10,000 years, and they sink to the bottom, they remain there undisturbed, preserved. The sediments layer up and provide almost like a timeline. They're kind of like tree rings, if you will. Tree rings. Tree rings go outwards, mm -hmm. right? And these go downwards. Yeah. And, and they're referred to as barbs. And what scientists have been doing is they've been extracting a core sample from the bottom. Uh -huh. And they can see those layers. Yeah. They can study them. They can test what's in those layers. And what they found is that the layers reflect what's been going on around the planet. One of the neat things they found in there was corn pollen. Right. Which then, you know, provoked this thinking that there may have been an indigenous community, a settlement right. close to it for the corn to be here. We've uncovered, you know, an indigenous village uh, from the 15th century, evidence of 11 longhouses, over 10,000 artifacts. And so Crawford Lake Conservation Area is home to these two really unique features, aspects, destinations, but they're also connected. One is very local goes back, you know, in terms of indigenous history, and one that we're looking at has global significance. Yeah. That was so interesting. But I still have a ton of questions. Like, what do all those sedimental layers say about where we've come from and where we're headed as a species? Don't worry, you're about to find out in studio in like two seconds. So I gotta boot it, because I'm in that segment. See ya! What did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.